Now, when people think about environmentalism, the idea of space environmentalism doesn't tend to cross their mind, uh, despite your work being so important. So what would you say to the average individual to explain the scale of debris in Earth's orbit right now? I will say this, and people can go to like Google Wayfinder and space debris and they could see it on their own. But basically, we're tracking about 50 plus thousand objects ranging in size from cell phone all the way to the space station in different orbits. Out of about the 50,000 objects, maybe over 5,000 are working satellites that give us, you know, position, navigation, timing, communications, everything else is garbage. So it's like 90% of the trackable human stuff in orbit is trash. And this garbage is traveling at, you know, many times the speed of a bullet and at any point could collide with something that we care about and then render that useless. Just like as we've explored the land and it's been to the detriment of the land, we've explored the ocean, detriment to the ocean and so on. We're doing that with space and it's just becoming this like orbital landfill kind of equivalent and it could get in the way and it can compromise the technology that we use on a daily basis and our ability to kind of get off the planet and do a space exploration. When it comes to those collisions, does the idea or concept of Kessler syndrome play into your work at all? The idea that one collision creates hundreds or thousands of pieces of space junk, which could go on to create more and more and just exponentially add up? The movie Gravity kind of like exaggerated it and you know i always liked seeing sandra bullock and george clooney so that was kind of cool but aside from that uh, that's an exaggerated thing but really i think the concept that would be better for people to understand is that just like with any finite plot of land or even highways there's a certain carrying capacity that these things have the ability for us to be able to use the resource sustainably and in perpetuity and the trash at this point in space is becoming so numerous it's getting in the way of us being able to utilize space for things that benefit us, like looking back towards the earth, monitoring for disasters, climate change, and all this other stuff. So we're losing our ability to actually use space to our benefit. And I think that's the takeaway for folks.